Hi, I'm Richard and today's tutorial will texture this bad boy out in Substance Painter. So let's get started. Hello and welcome back. And before I bring this into Substance Painter, there was something that I realized, or a few things I realized that I hadn't done yet. Number one is that we have these leather straps on the back end of the chest, which is which is wrong. We should probably just keep that as one long leather strip. Uh, I don't think we unwrap these bolts. And also something that might not be quite so obvious is that we need to separate out these two uh, top and bottom to different materials. And the reason we need to do that is because in Substance Painter we want to put these into what's called different channels so that um, we can literally hide one channel and edit them and, uh, and, and texture it because there's obviously an inside and if we couldn't see, if we can't hide half of it then we won't be able to see what's going on inside. So we'll need to separate those out. So let's start with the hardest bit. Let's get the, um, let's, let's tab in here and, and, and get this chest out. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to press L uh, and then click on Material so it selects the whole area and Shift H. And what we can do is just grab a face down the bottom here and just press Control plus a few times and then X uh, delete faces and we'll do the same here. Uh, Control plus X faces and if I just press, uh, if I just bring in the UV image editor, let's just see how that's coped with it. Um, I just, pre uh, just press N and stretch. Let's just do shift space as well so it's nice and visible. And I'll, what am I in? I'll go to island select mode, control tab 4, grab that. Yeah, so there's no stretching on them, that's good news. Uh, so I'm going to leave it at that. Um, there is a face missing, uh, which is under here, but I'm, I'm not too concerned about it because it's going to be hidden, uh, I think, all of the time. So, it, And it's going to create a few issues if we have to tinker around with unwrapping it. So let's leave that alone. That's a good start. So let's do Alt-H again. And we will unwrap these guys. And this should be quite straightforward as well. We'll just select that edge. Uh, that. Oh, excuse me. That. Uh, that. And that. And just do Control-E, Mark Seam. Uh, where, shall we, where shall we put the... Uh, seam itself. So if we just do actually just do L and then L oh, what, have I, what have I selected? Nothing. And then L again and just do Shift H. I think I'll put them at the bottom. So if I go control, uh, control 7 that's it and then just pick one there. It doesn't really matter. And one there. Control E. Mark Seam. And now what we can do is unwrap them. And something weird has happened. We've got four of those bad boys and something else is unwrapping badly. What is that? What has gone on here? Okay, we've got all of the, everything we need there. Let's just do control tab 3 L. Come on, L, L. So what's this? I must have missed a seam there, sorry. Must have done. Let's just bring up full screen. Yeah, I think I'm, I might. I don't think I... I don't think I put a seam in the bottom bit. Did I control tab two? Control seven. No, I didn't. I thought I did. Control E. Mark C. My apologies. My apologies. Let's try that again. Shift space. U. Unwrap. There we go. That's cleaner. Right. We'll just pin that a second and grab it over there. Uh, a that and then just all H. And let's just see where we can put this. Uh, Shift spacing, and I'll just, these aren't very big, are they? So let's just grab that lot and just start scaling it down. Um, again, these are I can <laughs> I can mess around with these, but I'll just make that that sort of size. I mean, that's already too big. Okay, just putting them in something like this, and let's just fill the sheer hay a bit, make it slightly bigger. Okay, <laughs> that's proportionally larger than it absolutely needs to be, but I don't care anymore. Okay, so that's that bit, and the only other thing we need to do, and this should be very easy again, so let's just uh, get rid of you, is to add some materials to this. So let's just select the top bit, Control tab 3, press L, and let's go over to materials. It has got one, so let's just call this material chest top, and assign, and then what we'll do is down here, we'll press L, and then we'll create a new, uh, create a new one, and we'll call this uh, new. Yeah, and then we'll call this chest chest bottom, chest bottom. Uh, 
and assign those vertices to it. And let's just double check. If we can do this now, if we just press select, it'll select them and deselect, unselect them. This is good stuff. My apologies, the phone rang there, as you can probably hear. I paused it. Uh, so where was I? I was just going to show you that, yes, you can select uh, a material. And if I just select that one, you can click select. And you can see that it'll do these things. So you can deselect them. Uh, so let's just try this. Let's just try hiding those. And we'll select this chest top and do select. And that should select all of the pieces. And it does. So we've got two materials. That's the important thing. All right. <laughs> um, let's just um, uh, uh, Alt-H to make sure everything's there. And tab out. Let's just save this. Actually, one more thing I might do is I might just get that to face the front that way. So let's just do that. So that'd be rotate Z 90. And obviously then we need to do control A rotation and scale. Yay. Right. Okay. So I've pressed front view now. Oh, I've got it around the wrong way. Look, <laughs> blast. Um, R Z uh, 180. There we go. Okay. And now uh, control A rotation and scale. Hooray. Good. Let's control S, yep, and then we will export this file, export, export FBX, and this is called Chess 3, you can call it what you like, just make sure we've got selected objects and experimental, actually before we do that, let's just make absolutely sure I've only got that selected, yes I have, well let's also name it, shall we, Chest, uh, and then we will uh, do it again, file, uh, just control S, yeah, file, export FBX, Chess 3.FBX, click on selected objects and experimental and click export FBX. There we go. And now we're ready to bring this in to Substance Paint. Substance Painter. So let's get that loaded. And here we are. I just noticed actually that it did a little update there. Let's just do a little about here. Um, no, there's no real clues. I'm not going to look at the release notes now, but I just noticed that it did an update. Today is the uh, 7th of October. So I'm interested to see what that is. Okay, but let's, uh, we'll look at that another time. Let's import our model. So file new. Click select, and if I'm lucky, I'll be in the right folder. And remember, for me, it's chess3.fbx. You might just want to call it chest or something. Click open. 2048 is what we're after. Open GL. Let's go with that. Click OK. And here's our lovely chest in all its beauty. Looking great ish, <laughs> but untextured, I think. It'll look a whole lot better when it's textured. So let's get that done now. Um, before we actually start any texturing, we need to bake the textures uh, to get this started. So let's do the output size of 2048 by 2048. Put anti-aliasing to 4x4. Four four. And then I'm going to click uh, bake. Oh, look at this. Bake all textures. There we go. That's interesting. It's given me one option. Is that because that's the one that's selected? Yes. Let me just quickly show you what I'm talking about here. We've got now we've got two here. Can you see you've got a chest bottom and a chest top? And I can actually unselect this uh, to make a. Um, ooh. Why is that black? That worries me. Uh, that makes me think that the material was not defined in the um, Blender. So let's quickly spin back to Blender. My apologies here, people. Um, so let's just quickly tab in here and press L and hide that and spin back into our materials, chest bottom, and do select. It w oh, I also we should do these as well, shouldn't we? L, L, make sure everything's selected and assign that to chest bottom. So And also, just do control N then, just to make sure those normals are facing the right way. I don't exactly know why that didn't work. If we just quickly go to look at the um, normals here, I think they're facing the wrong way on these ones. So let's just press L and just do seam. And then um, under, da, 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 I'll find the normals. Remind myself where they are. One second. Yeah, sorry, it's under it's under shading UVs. Uh, so let's just flip direction of those guys. There we go. So they're pointing up now. That's interesting, isn't it? And you guys, look at that. Let's just, just press L there, and we'll change the direction of you. So we'll flip direction on you. So you're facing down. Gosh, you got to be so careful, haven't you? Um, press L. Which way are you facing now? Oh, it's oh, hang on. Is that one piece? G Z. Oh. It seems to have joined them up, doesn't it? In which case then, well for now, we'll just have to, for now, my apologies, I'm, at some point I must have got that very wrong. For now we'll get them facing upwards, uh, flip direction, so they're facing up. Yeah, that messes that bit up, but there we go. So from now, from this point, we cannot um, see the un go to the underside. I'm sorry about that. Uh, so let's tab back out, save that, file, 
export FBX and just overwrite that and we'll have to go back to here and just do the file new again um, discard select sorry guys I never said I was any good at this did I did I now if you look underneath now I think we're gonna see some issues there yeah you see that bottom bits gone but more, most importantly, assuming that's always going to be on the ground, it's not going to be the end of the world. If I just unselect chest top, now we can see the underside. There we go. I'm not hugely bothered about that, but it does mean that I don't. At some point, I must have done uh, some removed doubles, and they were too close together, and it's merged them together. Most annoying. Um, but that's that's fair enough. Uh, so we got the chest top, top, and again, I can obviously do that and select that bit there, and we can check the underside. All right. So with that said. Let's bake them out. Okay, so we'll click on bake textures here. Uh, 2048 by 2048. Click on anti aliasing 4x4, four four, uh, 8 by 8 if you're feeling fancy. And click bake all textures. This is going to take probably the best part of about 10 minutes, so I will pause this and come back to you when it's finished. Okay, it's finished. It didn't take as long as I thought, actually. It took about five minutes, so I'm, I'm very pleased that that's happened. That's bothering me a lot, that underside, but there we go. Let's also let's get the opacity of the background up, shall we? So it's this one here under the viewer settings. Let's have some sort of background to look at. All right, we can now we, we did a lot of texture overlapping, didn't we? So let's, let's start by doing these uh, side sections. Let's do the bottom piece here first. So let's unselect the chest bottom. Uh, sorry chest bottom unselect the chest top here we go and let's create these bits here I oh, thought you know what that looks like that bit there is missing the duck normal as well is it or is it just a funky color oh it's gonna be driving me mad this is let's have spin back to our thing here uh, tab in no that's all pointing in the right direction maybe maybe I'm missing something let's just texture it out and see what happens yeah some weird things going on oh I suspect that's the ambient occlusion um, we might be able to turn that off, but let's do that there for now. Um, okay, so sorry guys. So let's just select these bits here. So what we'll do is we will create a folder. Uh, create a folder. Thank you. And we'll call this uh, side panels or something like that. Side panels. Side panels. There we go. We'll just delete this one here for now and just delete that. I will create a fill layer and just drag that, let that in there. Let's create it and then just drag it into the folder. And we'll just call it something like base. And let's give it a color. Um, it doesn't it doesn't really matter right now. Uh, what happened there? Where's the color gone? Oh, sorry, I selected it. Sorry, color and just click red or something like that. So everything goes red, and we want it just to be this bit here. So let's just try this. Let's try um, going over to the uh, here and clicking Add Black Mask, and then we'll just start by selecting certain UVs. So if I just click on that and then that, there we go. This selected all of those, which is exactly what we want. Do we want to do that one as well? No, we don't still don't want all of those, do we? But we wouldn't mind. Let's just see. So that has gone red now. That's good. At least it isn't uh, messed up. But maybe we can just do that. No. <laughs> I get confused which one it is. That one. There we go. Now, does that select the other four? It does not. So let's just do that. Why hasn't it selected the bottom one? Hmm? So I put a seam there without realizing it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know anymore. I'm beyond caring. Um, pop them on there as well. There we go. Right. So what I can do now is I'll. Um, I think what I'll probably do is just go for a black. So let's just click on this again, and then we'll go for black, or at least a very dark co color. Something about there-ish, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, I'm happy with that. And then we will. Um, add some well, we'll get rid of the normals for now but we will add some roughness on the height so what I, I like to go for pearly noise pearly noise fractal sum excuse me fractal sum which one is it that one and that'll be crazy so we just need to go click onto this base here and just do under the height options just drag that right down until it's something a bit more sensible maybe that three yeah, that's pretty good. I might also just up the UV count to something like six, should we say? Yeah, that's a bit better. And I think I want to make it more metallic, so let's do that because it is metallic. And just adjust the roughness until we find something that we like. Not too rough. There, I'm going to go with that for now. And that's that's my uh, side panels. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, click this and say uh, create material. 
create smart material. Actually, let's just let's just no. I'm gonna I, yeah. Let's do let's not do that. Let's just click on there and just right click, uh, copy, copy layers. And if I slide over to my chest top, and just um, chest top. Excuse me. There we go. Thank you. And just delete the one there. And let's just do paste paste layers and see what happens. Something rather bizarre. That's because this here I need to remove. I need to clear the mask on it. Clear the mask so that it does nothing, and then just click on here and just start doing the UV sections here. Oh, there we go. Bang. Done it. Beautiful. All right. How easy is that? This is the sort of thing you can do very very quickly. Um, so we've got ourselves our um, side panels. Let's do the uh, wooden bits along the edge here. This is actually also going to be very easy. So I'll spin back to chest. Uh, chest bottom. There we go. I'll just unselect chest top. Now I might have a bit of work to do on the inside, but let's let's just work on the outside first again. So we're going to have another folder. Let's just drag it outside, and we'll call this wooden pan, wooden wood, wood. Let's call it wood. In fact, actually, look at this. I need to click on the shelf here, don't I? And I've got the smart materials. There might already be something for us here. Let's just try wood. Wood chest look. Wood chest. Now is that is that what we're after? Is that what we're after? So let's just delete that and just grab wood chest and click there. That's probably gonna overwrite everything as I would expect it to, and it has. That's a really good start, guys. So let's just add a black mask here. And then we can just start picking out the bits we want. In fact, it's done that bit for us, so we want that bit. Excuse me. Did I not just click that one? Control Z. Now, why has it done that? I would not have expected it to have done those bits there, given that they were separate sections. I thought maybe they're not. Maybe I never seamed them out. Okay, not to worry. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave them as they are. And just start doing the whole thing. In fact, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna drag this down here below everything else like that. And I'm going to remove the black mask. Remove mask. And then that way, what we'll have to do, it's annoying, but we'll do it. <laughs> and that is, we'll start overwriting these bits here. So let's do that now. Let's create the leather straps. We're almost there. <laughs> Crikey, this is fast. Um, so let's go to the top and just click Add Folder. And we'll call this Leather. Um, and we will see what we've got in the way of leather here. We've got leather stylized, not really, leather weathered, let's try that, again I didn't need that folder did I, let's just pull that up there, delete you, yeah I like that, that's exactly what we're after, obviously we don't need to apply it everywhere, so let's just add a black mask, and I guess we're going to want that one, excuse me, that one. There we go. We're just going to have to select these sections here. And here. I could have used mirror mode here. Not to worry. And just spin around the other side. I clicked it, didn't I? I always worry when I click it and nothing happens. I think uh, I selected something else I don't know about. Actually, and I might just change these bits here as well. Look. Oh, no, they're not there. Oh, crikey O'Reilly, where are those blessed bolts? <laughs> okay, alright, are they a chest top? They are, you know. Okay, that's not that's not the end of the world. That's not the end of the world. Let's unselect it again. Okay, so that's those bits. Um, what I think I'm going to do... Excuse me, chest bottom. Thank you. Uh, is I'm going to... Um, make those leather straps a little bit smaller and the way to do that is just get the leather weathered pull this down what have we got just leather and just let's try to uh, change that to 10 that's a bit better that's more like what I'm after alrighty and then what we can do then is um, well let's just start copying this stuff across so starting with the wood uh, which is this one so let's copy layers and then we'll spin over let's just unselect it and do that one 
and then we'll just do chest top yeah and then we'll do paste layers and you're a monkey because I want you out of there like that all right and annoyingly I think it's done them the opposite direction <laughs> but that's okay we know how to fix this we do indeed what we're going to do is we're going to click on here we're going to start at the bottom with the base and we're going to flip it on the rotation here 90 that did nothing <laughs> so we're just going to go through each one and flip this, this rotation to zero then there we go that's fine it's, it, I think it'll look a bit better once we've um, sharpened I don't think we can touch that grunge pass Again, that's all just adding stuff so that's good so that's good news there and we will also copy the um, uh, the leather strap so let's just go back to the chest bottom where's the le uh, le leather weathered there it is so we'll just copy that copy layers I've lost it copy layers there we go and spin back to chest top and do um, just down here paste layers and again it's put it in a weird place let's just drag that up it's going to do some weird stuff there uh, so let's just clear the black mask and then do this again just start hello did I do this am I in the right bit we'd have to redesign that for us isn't it uh, let's try that no well we know we can do this one right yeah there we go okay this is good okay it's good it's not great but it's good uh, the reason it's not great is because I think we need to start making this look a little bit grubbier don't we okay well let's also let's also make these bits black as well shouldn't we so let's just go to the side panels let's use the same uh, um, um, material as uh, that's not great as <laughs> this bit here we go there we go is that selected all of it I think it has no not those bits it hasn't so we can just do this oh what do you do then let's just undo something there all right so that's that bit black let's just click on there all right I'm relatively pleased with this I'm not pleased with that but tough all right it looks good but it looks very weird there's this big slab of wood um, and the straps need sorting out so let's just start of one thing I think I'll do is I'll add some um, bolts along here so let's go to the chest bottom again and let's click uh, let's just where are we so we're gonna go to the side panels select down there and just click on base and then click on this one here which creates a new paint layer and we'll call this bolts and then we'll click on uh, tools screw bolt and the trick to doing this is a couple of things one is just alt and then shift to hold it into position uh, to click it into front view or rear view and press F6 and that will take us into orthographic and then what we can do is we can click and then shift click and hold and it will create all the bolts for us now what's clear is that a couple of things one is I think those are too small and also they're not spaced anywhere near enough so let's yank the spacing up is there any jitter? Only angle jitter, okay. So I'll just do that again. A shift control up. I still think that's too many and too small. So I should bring it up a bit more. Like that. Yeah, I like that. The only thing I don't like about it is it's a bit too um, clean for this here chest. So I think the way we're going to do here is we're just going to get this here color. Sometimes you can't change these things with this, these these uh, tools. We've got the alpha shape there. Okay, so what I'll probably do is this. Just click on here. Just do that again. And then under the uh, color channel, base color, I'm just going to bring that down. Where are we? Bolts here. Just click on here and just see what we can do. There, that's good. That's better already. And let's go to the metallic let's just make that a little bit less metallic it doesn't make a jot of difference okay fine so we'll try the roughness 
again you start bringing that down or up that's made no difference either so we're going to have to live with that right now um, so we will now go to the top bit and this can be challenging but we're going to try it okay so we're just going to um, select them that should if it's kind and where are we so under the side panels here we're going to add a thing there and we're going to click on screw bolt and I'm hoping it'll be kind no it's not let's just see if we can get roughly the same size it doesn't, it doesn't really matter okay let's do that you can clearly see it's nowhere near spacey enough where's the space there okay just keep that aligned not enough is it Okay, let's bring that space out a bit more. Like that. That'll do. Just do the same thing on the top. So it won't go any further. And then fine. It looks a bit busy, doesn't it, for my liking, but there we go. Let's see one there, like that. Alright. Close enough. Close enough, that looks a bit more bolty. Again, I think I'm tempted to um let's go bolts. Just bring the colour down. Here, let's bring that down. So it's barely, in fact, I'm gonna do that for the other one as well. So let's click on just bottom on the bolts base colour, just bring it right down. Come on. So they barely be seen. There we go. Okay, so there's no colour channel for either of them. Good. Now what does look weird? is the fact that there's no uh, sort of separation on these guys here so what we'll do is uh, we're on the bottom one here so I'll just select the wood chest stylized and I'll click on the top thing here and just press that to add a new layer did that work? yes it did and we'll just call these separation separation or something I don't know separation like that and it's just going to be a regular brush like that I'm hoping we can get rid of some of this noise where's the stencil yeah, so just get rid of that a sec. There we go. Um, and that's fine for the alpha. And it's not the colour. Oh, no, we will keep the colour, but not the metal, the rough, or the normal. Just the height. That's going to be down, like so. But obviously that's much too big. And what we will do as well is just add the mirror. I, I thought I clicked it. No, it's that one. No, it's not that way. It's the Z then. That way. There we go. So it does it on both sides. Make it much smaller, and then I think what I'll do is I'll just do it between these those two bolts there. Just right click over there like that, and you can see it's done something rather weird. Um, let's just try that again. So do that to there. To me, it means that when I see something like that, what it means is we've got an overlapping UV, or as is more likely the case, I've started too far over. So let's try that. That's better. But you can see the colour is completely wrong. In the, oh, come on. Stop it. It needs to be black, doesn't it? So at least a lot darker. Let's try let's try a nice sort of ready orangey brown there. Like that sort of colour. Yeah, that's fine. Now let's try again. I'll let you decide how big you want these to be. And also, let's just do one more thing. Let's just put some jitter on it. Position jitter. Let's just try these until we get something we like. See, that's not enough in my opinion. Put the position jitter up a bit more. Just keep playing around until you find a... That's better, isn't it? Like that, right? This is the power of uh, Substance Painter. We can just drag that across like that. And away we go. And again, this isn't an exact science, I'm kind of guessing here a bit. Might have to go back. But then, what bit of wood? What bit of treasure chest wood would ever be exactly the same size? Okay, like that. Then like that. Okay, I'm very happy with that and it's deployed it. I was happy. It looks like that last one it's a little low. Let's just separate that out again. In fact, I might just do that one then. 
put that a little bit lower. This is the thing, you can play with this. I'm not going to go too mad and then just do another one there. Somewhere like that. Yeah, that's fine. But now the trick is now, is just to make sure that you... Make, don't miss the mistake, mistake I made last time. And this is quite hard to do. Let's just flip that onto the x-axis. Is to actually try and guess whereabouts to put these bits. See, that's too low. So I go a little bit higher. That's no, that's that's absolutely fine. I can see where to put the next bit because of that little, that little dot there. So I'm just going to do that over to there. Maybe you couldn't see that, but oh no, touch higher than that. Okay, so I touch higher than that dot there. How's that? No, still not high enough. Come on, help me out here. Okay, let's try there. Be a bit more brutal with it. Oh, I think we're going to get away with that. I'll, I'll let you decide if you want to play around with it a bit more. So I think the next one's about there. That's too high. Try that. Too low. We'll get there, guys. That's good enough for me. And finally, so I try there. And there. That's fine. Okay, so you can see what we've done there. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me very much. This is a good good place to start. Okay, and we're almost there now. Um, yeah, look at that. It's not good at the top, is it? But there we go. You can see that maybe you want to spend a bit more time getting those right. I'll flip that back onto the Z axis. Because now we can do these ones if I just go to chest top. And I'll go to my wood chest stylized. Click on here. And just click uh, new above it. If I'm lucky, it'll keep the same brush. And it has. So let's say so we'll call that again separation. Separation. I'll start playing around with this. In fact, well, I might just, it doesn't matter too much now because I haven't got to do it on both sides it's because we've just got one edge here to worry about. Like that. Just got to try and make sure that the, the top bit at the top isn't too close together. Oh. Like that. And I think somewhere like that. Like that. There we go. In fact, I'm going to do one more at the very, very top. Without that on. I'm just going to do one there. Like so. And I'm very happy with how that looks. Very, very happy indeed. Uh, the one other thing I need to do is the leather straps. How am I doing for time here? So let's just put some holes in there. I'll show you what I'm doing here. So let's again, so let's just go to the we're on chest top. So we'll just do holes. So we'll click on here. And we'll, so we'll call this strap holes. Strap holes. There we go. And we will go to change the height down a bit. That's it. Put the size up a, a, a whole chunk. Okay, the position is uh, irrelevant. And yank the spacing up. And just find something that we're happy with. That didn't work. Okay. Did I set the height down? Yes, I did. The height channel is selected. I have got chest top here. I'm in the wrong. I'm in the wrong uh, uh, layer. So let's just delete that. We want it on the leather leather weather, don't we? Here. Click there. And just click that to create one, and then call that holes. Um, and then we will. We've got down. Where's the spacing? Yeah, that looks good. And just click. Just try it. Something like that. That's too close together, but not not terrible. That's maybe something a bit more like that. Like that. That's fine, isn't it? We need to add a little sort of metal bar here, so let's do that just to sort of show that the strap's going over. That's very straightforward to do. If we create another layer, we'll just call so we'll call this uh uh 
metal bar, metal bar, yeah. And then we will if we click here. I think there might be a shape that will do it for us. That one. Um, we want it to be uh, have the colour. We want we want the metal right up, and the roughness right down. So it's super shiny, and uh, the height the other way. So it's going out as a plus. And let's just make it nice and big. It's the wrong colour. We want it to be more of a white, don't we? More of a silvery colour. That's not terrible. I mean, it is very very clean. <laughs> so let's start. Let's make it a bit darker. Yeah, that's okay. Um, we also want to make the um, the height on this not dodge, but normal. So it overwrites everything before it. That's curious. I was rather a metal bar. Shouldn't that be overwriting the other bits? These these bits here. Hmm. Oh, it's because it's on the same channel, though, isn't it? So let's just uh, click on erase and just see if we can get away with them. Um, Erasing the holes. Here we go. Sorry, it's erasing those holes there. There we go. Okay, and then back into brush mode and back into like that. Okay, that's pretty good, but it doesn't look quite right because you need to have sort of metal bar around that. I'm pretty sure that that come one comes with it. It's like that. Let's try that. And yeah, we'll want to remove that bottom bit, won't we? So let's just click on there. Like that, something like that. Yeah, let's just zoom it down a bit. Just remove that bit, my metal bit there. That's not great. It's not my favourite ever. Particularly as that metal bar is banging in line with that wooden bit. Let's just undo this a little bit, shall we? There, let's just. Metal bar. Let's just get something a bit bigger than what? Where have you gone, metal bar? Oh, I've got to put you on there, haven't I? Catches me out when it's in the. No, it's something a bit thicker. Ah, there we go. Shape bar, and I think you can adjust the border width here. Let's try that. Let's just keep playing with it until we find something we like again. Well, clearly it's too big. Oh, it needs to be quite big though, doesn't it? In order to cope with that thing. How's that? That's nice, but it's terribly. Um, let's get the let's get the height a bit more rough, shall we? That's gone the wrong way. Um, let's have a roughness up a bit. Don't want the height. So we want the height as a plus. So we want a thick one, but something a bit more. Ah, I was up something a bit, bit, bit larger, but there we go. Okay, whatever. Okay, yeah, let's go with that again. It's a bit better, isn't it? Do you know what that'll do? I just need to remove the bottom bit, don't I? Because it's looping over that, like that, like that. Okay, something like that. Okay, I know it looks a bit rubbish, but it's pretty clear. Okay, this bit here's a bit weird. Let's just have a look inside. I'm not going to sweat it too much inside because people aren't going to look inside because there's going to be stuff in there. Um, let's just so if we just unselect chest top, do you know I'm just going to go with what what it how it looks right now. That's annoying me. I would highly suggest that you um, <laughs> go and do a much better job of that than I did and try and separate them out a bit better. Um, this won't really get noticed when you're in game. People aren't going to pay that much attention to it, are they? Bottom bit's a bit taller than the top. What we can do as well is, if we're fancying it, we can add a bit of maybe a little bit of dirt to the bottom section. Let's just do that while we're at it. Um, let's just add a fill layer here. It's going to do it. I swear. I thought I added it. Did I not? Let's try that again. There we go. We'll just call this ground dirt. Um, I'm slight. I'm on the wrong. I'm on the top, not the bottom. <sighs> Damn. Delete. Go to the bottom. This is that is annoying. <laughs> so here, and then click on uh, fill there. I'm hoping that will delete a load of stuff. It does. Let's just make it uh, get rid of uh, rough norm metal. We want the colour to be a nice, nice 
dirty colour like that. Um, maybe a bit darker on the, on the red there. Uh, and then what we'll do, yeah, just keep the height there for now, so add a black mask. And, we'll add a, and then we'll add a generator, I think. No, ignore that. It's going to be under smart masks. I think it's ground dirt. Ground dirt, there we go. If I just pull that in there, I'm hoping that'll just work for me out the, off the bat. There we go. We can just lower that down. Um, like that. And also just kind of just keep randomizing it until you find something that you like. Okay, it seems to be getting less and less, doesn't it? <laughs> Try something like that and just maybe up the dirt height a bit then. Up the level a bit. So you find something that's relatively dirty. There we go. That's a bit more realistic, isn't it? Look at that. It's that big old smudge there. That's a bit better, isn't it, already? All right, we can put the chest top. Okay, and that's that's pretty pretty good. I'm I'm relatively pleased with that chest. It looks better than the first one I did, that's for sure. Uh, still some room for improvement, but I'm rushing through this so this tutorial doesn't take all week. <laughs> um, so let's save this. Guess what? We're going to call it chest. Uh, .spp. I'm hoping that'll save it. There we go. Chest .spp. Uh, and let's try and export this. So let's just save that and then just do hello. Wow, there we go. Yes, it didn't completely blow up on me. <laughs> okay, file, export textures. Now, you'll notice there's a problem. And that is that we've got two, well, it's, it depends whether you call it a problem. But I want to merge these two together. And I believe that there is a tool on the Substance Painter website, Substance Share, that will allow us to put these onto the same texture. So let's spin over there now and have a look. Okay, it is this one. It's this merge textures here. So let's just try clicking on download. Um, I use my username and password there to log in. That's good. Just remembered that. I don't exactly know how this is going to work. Uh, Substance share, sub SBSR. Okay, so let me just try and find out how we import those. One second. Okay, guys. So I'm going to hold my hands up and say I thought that would be a lot easier. I cannot work out how to flatten those textures down. So what we will do is let's just do file export textures and for now we'll create two of them. In fact, let's have a quick look at it. If we go to texture set settings and just change this to 1024 and do that for the bot top as well. So we'll create two 1024 images. Yeah, that's not terrible. It's not we don't really want what two two oh four eight images. So we'll go for two one oh two four images. I'm sorry. I'll have a play around with that and see if I can work out how to fix it for the next video. But for now that's what we'll go with and just, let's just do this. So we'll do file I'll we'll save it. No, it's got frozen. There we go. Uh, file export textures. And you see we've got two of these here, so let's just go for one oh two four by one oh two four. There. And we'll change this to that our favourite channel, which is the Dungeon Generator, Assets, Models folder. Oh, no, no, we're going to Assets, Textures, aren't we? Textures, select that folder. It's going to be very annoying, this. But we'll, 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 we will separate them out anyway. Uh, and to be honest with you, we haven't lost a huge amount of resolution uh, because we're going, that's 1024 and that's 1024, so it's pretty good anyway. And we'll just click Export and say OK. All right, we've got ourselves a chest. So my apologies, that I couldn't get that working out of flatten it because that's annoying. We could have got a lot more resolution. Um, I'll have a play with that and see if I can work out how to do it in the next video. But for now, I'm going to call that a completed chest. I think that'll look a bit better in Unity as well. I'm not thrilled with that leather, but it doesn't look too bad at all. If you've got time, you know you might want to just add a few more effects, have a little bit of dirt around there. In fact, I might even have a little play before the next video. But that's a basic chest that we're looking for for our game. So it's all saved up, and um, we can export that model into Unity next time. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.